to my channel so today's video is a video of leftist woman asks Shapiro if he's a traffic let's check it out guys so you've come out against the rioters in Charlottesville and all their violence and bigotry. Yep. Um, the leaders of the Charlottesville r rally were empowered by the rhetoric and agenda of Donald Trump and a lot of his associates as they've come out in the Vice documentary and claimed uh, you've not only said controversial things, but you've had a couple of attacks against the trans community, um, transphobic attacks, even your call for the transfer of Palestinians, which I don't know if you've redacted that. Yeah, I redacted statement. that like uh, eight, uh, nine years ago. I just wanted to make yep. sure. I wanted to ask you. No, I, I'm just learning about Ben. I no, really, that's, 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 no, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but even with that, do you feel that a lot of your speech could incite the same kind of violence? I mean, um, you heard my Donald speech Kennedy. tonight. Do you feel that my speech could incite violence? Well, <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, I mean that seriously. That's a, that's an honest no, question. I know, I know, I know. You're asking honestly. I feel that it, for me as an individual, it isn't. But I could see how a lot of your points I really disagreed with. I literally have a list of. And that's and that's I fine. I mean, that's you. the good part, right? Where um, we disagree and we can have a conversation. I just was wondering, in terms of, you, and what I mean by inciting violence is encouraging the same people who believe in like your transphobic beliefs. Um, even that, like, homophobia is a sin based on your religious beliefs. Do you believe that because of um, what you say, you can encourage a lot of people to act on those beliefs? So I have, I have a very strong standard with regard to incitement, and I'm very consistent about this. If I'm not telling somebody to commit violence, I'm not inciting them to violence. I've held the standard for Barack Obama when he was saying anti-police things, and then somebody went and shot up some police officers in Dallas. I said, that's not Barack Obama's fault. When a Bernie Sanders supporter went and shot up a congressional baseball game, I said, that's not Bernie Sanders' fault because Bernie Sanders wasn't calling for that. Political debate requires that you talk to people and people take your words as what they mean, not as an excuse to go and do violence. I have never called for violence, nor would I. As far as the idea that my words are some sort of attack, a violent attack, for example, on folks who are transgender, my I'm view, I, I know, but I'm, I, I'm, I'm responding to the people who are not you who might say that. Okay, okay. So, the, so the, the idea that I am transphobic, for example, this is, this is a bizarre kind of attack in the sense that I don't know that I've ever exhibited phobia of trans people. I'm not afraid of trans people. Well, well transphobia is more along the but, lines of disagree, well, prejudice against the trans So I think that, I, think that you, I, I, actually, I actually think that your first characterization was right. I think that transphobia is really disagreement with the basic principle that the trans community is trying to purvey, which is that people's sex is malleable that people can move from male to female and that it is my job objectively to now call them the name they wish to be called and to teach my children that men can be women and women can be men. I fundamentally disagree with that point. Now, with that said, is everybody in the United States entitled to the same rights? Of course, but your right does not extend to forcing me to call you what you want me to call you. That's not the way this works. That violates my freedom of speech. So in interpersonal relationships, if I were out to dinner with a trans person, would I make a point of noting their proper biological sex? No, because that would be impolite. When I'm talking about the general principle of is a man a woman or is a woman a man, the answer is I will say that a man is a man and a woman is a woman and a he is a he and a she is a she. And if I'm in a public debate with somebody, I will say the same thing. As far So as I, I do want to clarify that when I met I wasn't trying to say disagreement. I was relating it to the same definition of homophobia, which is prejudice, or prejudice, or I tried to say discrimination. Right. So I think that again, the homophobia. There, are, there are some people who actively, the there are some people who actively community. want to do violence to people who are gay. Right. I mean, those people are not me or anybody yeah. that I agree with. Obviously, I've never, at any point in my entire career, ever advocated violence. God forbid, mm -hmm. against anybody in a civilized society. That's not something that I believe in, um, and I think it's evil. As far as, the, as far as, I, I think again. Your original definition of transphobia actually is better applied here as well. I think it's disagreement with certain principles that the homosexual community would, wishes to what espouse. What I was saying was that's not what I was. I was. I know, saying and, I, and, I'm, and I'm saying, saying and, and I'm saying, and I'm saying that I agree with your original definition and not your and not your definition. So the so the definition it, that you well, made. No, I'm not saying it's mine. It's one that I like Googled that I found. Right. So and I think that definition is wrong, and I think that the one that you Freudian uh, slipped was right. Is what so I'm saying. So I'm saying based on like. The institution of, I'm, I don't want to say the institution of Google because that's an extremely general thing to say, but in terms of as soon as you right. uh, search transphobia, homophobia, this is what comes uh, up. Right. And I think Do you feel like even though you're disagreeing with transphobia, with, with the trans community, which I believe we all have our own disagreements, I'm asking, do you feel that the fact that with your disagreement, you're inherently 
through the institutions that have provided these definitions, discriminating against trans community. And thus, I'm saying, I, so I, I'm saying, thus I, encouraging so, other people right. to so, follow. So I know that's a long so, question, but right. I had to that's encapsulate a lot of So things. here's what I'm saying. I disagree with either, either their definition is wrong or it's overly broad in its application. Okay. So if the idea is that if I say a man is a man and a woman is a woman is inherently transphobic, mm -hmm. that's not discrimination, that's disagreement. If they say that's discrimination, they're overly applying well, I, their well, own Well, I think when you say like they're mentally ill, like that well, gives off it. Well, I have said, and I will continue to maintain, mm -hmm. that gender dysphoria or gender identity disorder, whichever DSM you choose to use, is a mental illness. Mm -hmm. That is... And that... And again, and again, mm -hmm. the, God forbid that it should be said with any animus, because this is not said with animus. When people are suffering, these are clearly folks who are suffering. When people are suffering, you shouldn't be saying stuff with animus. I'm not saying that as a gotcha to people who are transgender. The point that I'm making is that when a society begins treating folks who have mental illness as though they are representing an objective reality, they are doing no service to the people who actually suffer from a mental illness. My grandfather suffered from schizophrenia, paranoid schizophrenia. He was institutionalized. If the doctors had said to him, Nate, you're fine. We believe that the radio is actually talking to you. That is not a service to him. That would that have been terrible for him. Mm -hmm. right? They put him in an institution, they gave him lithium, and it helped. Now, I'm not saying there's even a great solution for folks who have gender identity disorder or gender dysphoria, because the solutions that I've seen, including transgender surgery, are not intensely effective from all the studies that I've seen. It's a tragic, tragic situation. But the solution is not to redefine as a society what sex means along anti-biological lines. As far as the homophobia point, it's my own religious belief about the sinful nature of particular people's behavior should have no impact on how you act in, the, in a free country or, or how you think. It's a free country. Do what the hell you want. Right? There's religious ben, which is right. what I think is sinful, which is Jews who violate Sabbath, mm -hmm. right? Jews who eat shellfish. Right? There's a lot of things that we think are sinful in right. Judaism. Right? And then there's the stuff where do what you want because it's a free country. I think people do a lot of sinful stuff all the time, and I'm not calling them on it. Right? I think the people who are living together outside of marriage are sinning according to my traditional religious beliefs. Mm -hmm. It's a free country. Do what you want. Mm -hmm. So when people say homophobia, I think what they are doing is saying you disagree with me. I've never called for violence, and not only that, I'm in favor of legalization of same-sex marriage in the sense I want the government completely out of marriage. Right? I don't want the government in the marriage business at all. So, so it's very... So the, I think that what, what bothers me is when folks assume that a disagreement means that they can ascribe animus, anger, hatred, mm -hmm. wish for violence to me. Which is what a lot of the Charlottesville writers were doing. Let's well, it, the, the Charlottesville writers were garbage people. I mean, I did, yeah. I did two full episodes well, on how garbage I mean, the Charlottesville I was, writers, yeah. writers were. I mean, were. this has been really great, actually, to have this yeah. dialogue. But I think... What? I was the number one target of the alt-right in 2016, according no, to the anti-defamation yeah, league. I, I, I looked you up, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. But what I, what I, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to be sassy, <laughs> but um, what I really wanted to understand was because you have such a large platform, I mean, even through Twitter, through social media, through your website, through your, um, just all your work, like, do you not claim, I don't know of any particular cases where someone has said Ben Shapiro told me to literally go murder a trans person or someone who... And if they did, something. they would be lying. But, yeah, okay. I just wanted to like ask you about... Right. And if they did, they would be lying. And I would think that, and again, anybody who commits acts of violence or evil mm -hmm. in my name is a violent, evil person. Okay. And I hope that's standard for everyone. But they, uh, yeah. I really appreciate you coming out. Thank it really you. means a lot to me. Thank you. This is how a debate should be. You could see genuinely from the lady that she wanted to hear... Ben's opinion more on the confession she had while he was speaking because she took notes. She took notes not because she wanted to not do gacha. No, you could like see she genuinely wanted to know to hear his opinion more on things, and that is how it's supposed to be. And Len, when you come to um events like this, be open-minded. Have yourself challenged. Okay, but this is how I've, I've known it. This is what I've been told. And now here, I'm hearing something different. Why is it that? Does it mean that what I've heard all this is, is, is a lie? So please, could you clarify me on this? Because I'm having confusion. Does it mean this? Does it mean that? Oh, or does it mean that what I, the one I'm thinking is right? Or your own is right? Like, guys, this is how it should be. How human beings should talk and converse amongst themselves. But no, some certain group of person will say, no, it's either their way or the highway. Or you have to confirm or affirm my, 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 
my delusion. You have to affirm my pretense. I love this. And guy, you just have to love Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro, he's the man. And this lady, whoever she is, I love her. You did very good. And I'm sure in a few years to come, I'm sure she will, she will totally agree and accept what Ben Shapiro was saying. Even if she might not accept it because we are human beings. There's no way, like me, now, just by the fact that I love the way Ben Shapiro talks. That does not mean I accept and believe all whatever he's saying 100%. Like, the, you hear what she said? I have, like me personally, I going by my own mind, somebody that thinks for themselves in a way. Think for yourself. Everything I'm saying here does not mean that it's true. Come on. Yeah. Well, yeah, guys, that's all I have for you. Bye, guys.